What's up gamers, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting off a new series, call it line by line. As you can see I have all the tanks in the E100 line. And today's video is sponsored by me. So hit that subscribe button. And we are currently going to play basically a tech tree showcase. I'm going to start it from tier 5. Because I feel like playing tier 1, 2 and 3, for instance for every single line, eventually we'll... Tiers 1 to 4 are quite self explanatory, really. You just kind of play, they don't really take very long. So, we are going to start at tier 5, and how it's going to work is we are going to gonna go from here. They're all brand new crews, as I've just rebought really them. What equipment and what gun I would use. And then we'll do a gameplay, and then we'll move on to the next tank. And that's how it's going to be. And we're going to showcase all of the tanks from basically around tier 5 all the way up to tier 10 with one game each. So they're going to be reasonably long videos. I'll put timestamps down below as well so you can actually just skip to the tank you want if you want to. Okay, so the first tank up is the tier 5 VK3001H. Now, you need the tracks, apparently. So let's just unlock them because I've obviously played this previously before. Now you get a lot of guns on this tank. A lot of guns. You get a tier 7. You get a tier 6. But in overall, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 different guns. 7. Now, for a new player, that is probably quite a bit. And I can tell you, you probably won't get 7 tank, uh, seven guns again for a long, 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 long time. Let's just put the big one on. I, personally, would use... Yes, I think I would use this one. So I would use this one. I would use this one down here. And this obviously goes to the VK and the VK3601H, which is what used to be a medium tank, I'm pretty sure. It used to be a medium tank, now it's back at a heavy. That is the line that we are going down. Uh, can I mount? So this is how I would have it. Now, down in the low tiers, what I would do is I would probably have something like... Now, this is actually a medium tank, for instance. So I would put that a gun rammer and then probably something like vents on or something like that maybe a turbo depends how fast you want to be but we're up to 405 meters view range man we're spending all the money today at the minute i'm going to put in some food and that is how i'd run this tank currently now you do have really decent pens so i'm not actually going to take that many probably seven so this is kind of how you're going to be until i mean this is almost the shape of every single german tank so it's quite a decent start. You've got turret armor at 80, 60, and 60, so you could almost angle it like this to get the full effect. You do have a little commander's hatch, which they might not hit. You get pretty bad accuracy down this, but up for us, we have 0.31 accuracy, so we are going to be extremely good. 2000 DPM at this level. This tank is going to be a monster. It is going to be okay. It's four second reload, 157 pen, so you're not really going to have to fire any gold. Spotting, we're up to 422, so we're going to be spotting quite far. This is also with zero, zero crew skills. So if you whacked on recon, for instance, but what you, what I'm going to tell you is be careful. I'm not going to do any more because if you take one crew from this one to the next one, you're going to want repairs on the VK, the Tiger, the Tiger 2, the E65, and the E100. Okay, let's jump in. Okay, so we have a tier 7 game. That's not what we really wanted but it is what we are given so we would do what we can this is why we do have some gold shells because things like the amx m4 we're gonna push up we're gonna go right into the front of this battle we have really really good dpm so i want to be able to use that dpm do not forget you are only a medium tank you can side scrape but probably wouldn't advise it at higher tiers and firing at bigger things like the T-150 for instance. Okay, that was a bad shot. Enemy armor is damaged. And there's another one. We are going to be able to put... Well, I was going to say we're going to be able to take him out, but... We don't need to take him out because someone's going to do it for us. The Churchill, we should be able to get him in the turret. Let 
Let me just see. I sit here, we should be able to take him out when he's placed his head around the corner. We can use this Mitsu as basically a little meat shield for us. And AMX, we can take him out. Bounce and he's going to be out. They're knocked out. Okay, the Churchill is using the little derpy gun, so that's more favorable to us. Okay, we can keep pushing here. Stick another one into him. As you can see, we're racking up this damage really easily. This lovely penetration on this gun. And it's time to push in behind. We haven't lost any HP. And this is against tier 7s as well, do not forget. So we're going to push up. As you can see, we're actually quite a mobile tank. What's he doing? Thanks a lot. Penetration. For another one. Okay, we're not going to be able to get him behind. But we're up to 1.2k. You can see how effective this gun is with 157 pen at this level. Stick another great DPM. Maybe we can get one more and actually get the kill. We can. Up to 1600 damage already. Right, we see this BDR. We can push him. Okay, apparently we can't shoot through this. Enemy is hit. I'm gonna reverse side scrape here. Hit. Enemy armor is hit. And nope. He's the other side of the rocks here. The leopard is definitely gonna be shooting from behind. We need to get forwards. We can take maybe a shot or two. I'm going to try and take him out. We didn't no. Even scratch them. We should be able to get the kill on this guy. Nice. Up to 2.2k damage. Now you can see how good this tank is. This is the tier 5 tank. And we are demolishing them. And I do believe the VK is going to get the kill over us. Yeah, maybe we can go get the crocodile. The new tier 6 premium. And one more shot in for the three kills and the two and a half thousand damage. Now that should showcase the tank very nicely. These are the post game stats. Okay, so the post game stats for this game are 60,000 credits, 2,400 base confederate and a mastery badge doing 2.4K and 11 different critical hits. We came top on damage and top on XP by quite a bit on damage is nearly 800 damage more than a t3485m so let's move on to the tier 6 okay so the next tank is the vk3601h which 
is the first time you actually can pick between let me put this on this on let's give it its upgraded turret now you can have the same gun on this as the last one or you can have the 88 gun now the 88 is way less pen so you will have to find more gold it's slightly more in dpm it's one nine instead of one eight so it just depends how you're going to play it if you're playing with a trading i'd go with the 88 because the 88 is only five less so i'm going to play with the 88 because i feel like that is what most people are probably going to go and stick themselves with uh, where is it vk so this is the first tank that i do believe has a yeah, hundred mil of frontal armor so you can actually angle yourself like this a little bit a little bit um you would want to put hardening you'd want to put a gun rammer and then maybe it says it does 50 so we will give it its uh what it says we only have 370 view range so you could stick that for 400 or you could stick this and it raises 378 I will play with vents just because vents is going to give me an all round. Let's put in about seven gold rounds. I'm not putting cameras on them. I don't feel like spending another 75,000 credits. I know it's only about one game, but one game's one game, isn't it? Not really worth keeping them all on. Now, if you like the idea of this new series, uh, line by line, let me know which uh, tech tree you'd like to see next. So obviously this is going to be the main one. I feel like this is almost, this is the one where I kind of started playing. So it was going obviously down the German line, finding the Tiger 1. Obviously the, probably the most famous tank in the world. I'd imagine even people that aren't so much into like World War 2, but armored warfare tanks would probably know what a Tiger tank is. Okay, so we are against, well, there's two tier 8s, but kind of one, so we really don't want to come across that Chrysler, because that would be a no-go. Now, you do actually get decent gun depression in this tank. Seems to be about 8, 9. Skoda, okay, so we see where the Chrysler's going. We're going to hope that this Chrysler isn't actually going to go and sit there, because that's not what we want. I'm going to see if I can push, maybe. This tank could actually do with... Okay, so... Enemy is hit. There we go. It's quite accurate. And there's a GW Panther. Now the GW Panther has probably played a lot of games. Yeah, exactly. He, he has completed it. And like I said, this Chrysler is not the tank that we want to be fighting. Nor is the box tank. And we have better DPM than he does. But there is the Chrysler. This is not what who we want to be going against. Like I just said, we hopefully we, we can spot this one out. Penetration. Right, we are actually doing quite a bit for our team here and spotting them. I'm gonna push up, see if I can No, there's not really a lot I can do here to be fair. This is quite an open map. This isn't really the map that we want to be playing against. Gonna aim in on this guy. Okay, you can kind of see that the uh, aiming could do with a little bit of help here. Okay, there's the Chrysler again. Now, he probably has really bad gun depression. But at the same point, we aren't going to be able to hit him. Now I'm thinking of running away. Down here and into the middle. The T26 and the Super Hellcat can deal with that stuff. We have a Tiger 1 who is. Okay, so he's about there. Ammo storage is hit. We're lucky it didn't blow. Lovely Amarak. Okay, we're going to get down off the hill. We don't want to be sitting up there anymore. Eek. 
Kiwi 2 is gone. Hellcat was spotted by me. Let's see what we can do over here. Okay, so there is actually a tank there. The radio man is bleeding. We can't okay, on I'm not even joking, but this little guy in the GW Panther literally has something for me. Uh, he's up there. Uh, he's going to be reloading. So we're going to go into the, the low ground. Okay, he's not there. I am still getting spotted though. Let's push up. Unfortunately, we have lost so much of our HP. And there he is. Under his gun line. Enemy armor is hit. Penetration. Uh, he has a free shot auto loader. But we did 2.9 combines. So it wasn't actually that bad of a game. Um, unfortunately, having one tier 8 is almost not that good because that that stopped me from pushing the north where I was so then I had to come to the south we had no spots or vision so I took a couple of unnecessary damage and the fact that artillery kind of had a hard on for us so um, just fire here uh, that's the VK 3601H uh, it's a very strong tank it's very good definitely a good start to the heavy tank line like this is the heavy tank line from 3601H and onwards. So let's have a look at this V3601H. We did 1,190 assistance in destroying and 1,900. We, so we, we did actually hit the v, uh, WZ blind at that distance. So that was good. The T34, we did 400 damage to. The Skoda, we managed to put two shots into. One into the SU and three into the MT25. That puts us third, third and third. Third in damage, third in overall. Oh, no, it wasn't. Second. This is second. Second in uh, XP. In a tier 8 game. So. That's good. Now, the most iconic tank probably in the entire line. I'm going to have to buy this, swap that, and I don't know why I have that on, but I shall put in Gun Rammer. I used to have Turbo on it, so I'm going to demount this and put... The turbo on cruise skills is probably where I would say this is where they start coming into effect. Full repairs on this as a heavy tank, you want full repairs, you're going to be getting tracked. Side scraping, especially in these tanks in the German line, it's a very heavy, heavy side scraping line. Um, you can leave the last one and you can put intuition on. Um, some people do, some people don't. I personally will. Has an awesome 88 gun. 203 so that is the gun obviously that you're going to want 203 pen 280 damage did do think they raised it because i do believe it was 240 but recently no probably not even recently but they have raised it up so we actually have field mods in this tank um i've got left left again and i haven't even got to these ones yet but what i would do for this one is the view range well it's got 100 millimeters of frontal armor so you can angle it and you can sort of side scrape a little bit. So the mouse iconic, but we are about to get bullied by 7032s. Now this is the only problem with tier seven. I would say it's probably one of the, it is the weakest tier, I believe, because you can come up against tier eight and there are some strong ones like a BZ is gonna pen the front of this tank like nothing, like nothing. Like it, it, it doesn't even exist to it. Now I'm gonna go and play in the middle. You don't. You get okay gun, gun depression, as you can see. We do actually have one mark of excellence or two. I feel like it's 85 percent. We have two. We have two marks of excellence. Okay, so they have a spotter in the middle. I'm actually hoping that they don't go up this bit. Okay, they are going up there. And he knows exactly where he is going to be able to drive. 
And we got a very average roll into him. I'm going to say he actually could be up there. As you can see, GW Panthers, RT, just have a boner for me every time. Um, it is quite annoying. They are always, always, always going after me. And there's not really much I can do about it. I'm going to get down off of this bit because Artie's going to be aiming for me again. We're getting pushed really heavy to the north. Unfortunately, we're not getting to showcase the tanks that well. Because this does actually have an extremely good gun. Ah. As you can see, 203 millimeters is, is really good for getting through things. Now, I have a feeling that the RT is going to be aiming at me again. We've yep. lost track. As you can see, there probably isn't anybody else spotted, I imagine. We're getting a little bit impatient, should I say, here. That's probably what I would say. I'm... But at the same time, they are going to be coming behind us in no time at all. But as the tiger, you kind of in these roles, you are literally playing support. What are you doing, doggy? Let's see if I can spot anybody. Yep, I spot the Udes. We did manage to spot him for another 200 damage. Now, the RT is not likely to hit. Look at this angle. Artie's not likely to hit me. Bang, hit. Okay, I'm gonna go see if I can take this TS-54. Maybe I can get some side shots into him or something. No, we're gonna assist this guy. We should be able to get one more into him. We're gonna go up for it as well. And that's what I mean by we are the supporting role. Now, we're actually down 2,000 damage. I'm hoping our tanks can do something to help them. And I feel like I need to help these guys in there, but I think we've just lost the tank. He just got taken out by a TS-54, which means we do not want to be pushing that. So I will wait until maybe he pushes. Or I can push along. Let's push along through here. Let's see if we can cause a, uh, a breakage. We are going to win, I believe. Haven't been spotted. We're going to try and hit this Udes in the side. All we have to do to be careful about is getting the artillery to miss. Now, he's going to have a bad reload or aiming time. Okay. Artie will be aiming for us. He's over there somewhere. We're gonna die. Maybe we can get a bounce or a track. No, nothing. But as a tier 8, still doing two and a half. It's okay. It's okay. I think we did enough there to make the Udos move off the line, off the ridge line. It's a very good tank. Uh, it's a lot better after its buff. 
my issue is it's only got 100 millimeters and 80 millimeters and it's very flat but it does have really good dpm at 2.4 seven degrees of gun depression which is usable i'd say that's kind of the minimum you would want it says 44 kilometers i don't think it really gets up to 44 that often and with a good crew the tiger one game was a victory 1.8 k we ended up coming fourth which is above an is3 and above a Kalana and the ELC and the TVP Shrek. So third on damage and third overall, which for a tier seven in a tier eight is what you're supposed to do. The big boy, the King Tiger, the Tiger Two. Yet again, you'll have four repairs. Now this is kind of where I think maybe the heavy tank line officially officially starts. Now this is going to set the the pace for tiers 9 definitely my one of my favorite is the e75 and definitely with the e100 is how it's going to kind of be hardening gun rammer definitely and now you can either have a turbo or vents i'm going to go with a turbo i want to get into speed into speed into place a bit faster let's put on our pieces of equipment -y food now there's only one gun for this the 225 360 this is what you want obviously the upgraded turret if you don't have the upgraded turret right your hp will be a lot lower but you only have 100 millimeters so if the tank looks like this shoot him straight in the turret if it looks like that obviously i wouldn't as much want to do that we can put on the radio the top engine and the top tracks so you will have to go through the gun definitely go through the gun don't stop here at the 200 360 i would still keep using this one this is going to be the one that you want the 10.5 now you have 225 so i normally play with like eight ish sort of apcr now you got eight degrees of gun depression which is good 225 standard pen workable an 8.5 second reload in this setup 2.5 dpm 2.5k you are incredibly accurate 0.28 dispersion that for a heavy tank is very very good and a pretty decent aim time you're extremely heavy so you can ram things if you need to you're at 71.44 and 407 meters of view range which this is without any crew skills so that can be bumped up a little bit now this is where you become the heavy tank 244 25 millimeters of alarma uh, alarm turret armor right here so it can be quite difficult to get through but they would have to fire gold at you but if you angle the slightly it does actually have 160 millimeters of frontal hull right here but obviously lower plate is weak but obviously on an angle it can help you side armor is 80 so you can side scrape very very easily in this tank Obviously, you can get penned by the higher penetration ones, but as long as you angle it slightly less, you'll be bouncing. And the turret is 120 on the side. So you can angle it, but be careful because it does angle in. So if you angle that, you obviously get a bit, bit of a flatter surface. So let's jump in to the Tiger 2. Now, the Tiger 2 plays very, very, very much like the E75 and the E100. Obviously, we are in a tier 10 game. We are against an M454, WZ1115A, and a Minotauro. Oh no. E75, 257, T55. This is going to be one hell of a game for this tank. This is going to be a game. This is why we have Turbo 1. Because we're going to need to get into the battlefield. If you don't get in, you can get caught out here sometimes by slow tanks. It has happened to me before. In a T95, someone needs to put something into him and punish him. No. We could have. But I don't think we're going to be able to. Now, as you can see, we did actually get up the hill in a reasonably reasonable time. It wasn't painful. It's not like this E4 back here who's still going. Okay, that was a little unlucky. 
So we're going to be trying ourselves against the E75 here. There we go. That's how you play it. He's angling incorrectly. I need help. We are actually a little bit stuck here. We didn't their armor. I'm going to come and help this guy. I don't think we're going to be able to do much this game, to be honest. Unfortunately, we are kind of getting pushed around by their heavy tiers, and we aren't actually doing anything against theirs. We need the Tiger Master to get up here. Requesting support. So I'm going to load gold for this E75. Uh, I'll see if I can show you the weak spot that they get. Okay, right, the E75 has moved. You can bounce. This is a tier 10. And we're bouncing him. But. I need help. Yeah. Even with gold. It can be difficult. But as you can see. We're bouncing. You can definitely do it. If he came a tiny little bit more back. We didn't even scratch them. I'll load gold again. If we can actually take him out, it would be massive. No, we got unlucky here. No. This is over for us, unfortunately. We're getting pushed by too big of a tank. Hit. We actually have the reload on him, though. Oh, that's so unlucky. And he's bounced. Give the guy the kill. Perfect. Stick the one into his track. See where he's looking. He's not looking at us. Stick another one into him. And he's out. If this doesn't show how powerful the Tiger 2 is, then I don't know what is. We managed to use our HP efficiently. We managed to use the armor efficiently good angles on it and they will bounce. It is a very strong tank. And you can see how mobile it is, especially with this turbo. Especially with the turbo. So we ended up doing, we only did 1800 damage, but we were firing at, we were bouncing quite a few. We are getting tracks, tracking shots on people. But we did more than what we needed to as a tier 8 in a tier 10 game. We held back one E75 a WZ 1115A, and we took on a fight straight at an AMX M454 in a tier 8. The Tiger 2 game was great. Oh, we got six critical hits. I needed seven for my mission. Fuel tanks. Oh, we need to take these fuel tanks out. Tracks and a track again. As you can see, we come second there. We came second, and obviously we didn't do the most damage. We're not going to, you know. These guys are doing 750 average damage with their gun. Um, he's doing sort of similar 600 or something like that. I can't remember 540. So we're not going to, but you know, putting on our level against those tanks, I'll take it. So that is the type two. That is showing you what this tank is capable of doing. 
Okay, let's jump into the next one. My favourite. Just got the second Marks of Exelon on it a couple of months ago. Now I run a lot of APCR on there because that's what I was doing. When I was getting the marks for the last 5%, I was going up and down, up and down, up and down. And I was like, okay, right, let's go. And we don't actually even have, I just realised, um, improved hardening on it. So what I'm going to do is take the improved hardening off of this. I didn't even realise we didn't even have it on. So the same setup. We have some extra crew skills. We have brothers in arms. We have that. Let's go with snapshot. So still the same for it. You'd have, I'd have full repairs personally first. Then after that, you can either go brothers in arms, but I'd probably go with like smooth ride, things like that. Things that are going to make the tank more useful. Uh, situational, I'll get because view range is important. We're up to 414. Obviously, the exact same setup as the Tiger 2. So let's jump in. Okay, so the E75, we are on yours. We are going to head over to the J4 sort of area. This is where this tank for me is probably going to be the strongest. I can side scrape up to the IM top tier. We are going to conquer and he's 75 and a Lorraine here. Probably won't see the char in this gap, but you can see the turbo in effect here. I'm keeping, not keeping up, but we're reasonably close to a Scorpion G, which obviously goes a lot faster. Wouldn't recommend crossing keep right where I just crossed because if you get a decent tank, they will shoot you in the side. Okay, I'm gonna speed up until we get to the corner. Okay, so we can see that the Lorraine's already there and the E75 is is also pushing into the spot. 703 is also here now. Currently, it's only me and an nice IS3A. There is a VK3002, but he isn't gonna do anything. Uh, there we go. A little unlucky on the Conqueror shot. Just going a tiny bit too high. We angle the armor and. Bounce his first 400 shot. So, if you want to hit him, you have to hit him on that side sort of bit. If you can see the side, you can hit either of them and go on straight into him. It's close. He's not playing in the right position. And thankfully, the IS3A and the IS703 no, is pushing. Managed to avoid him. Now, currently it's just me kind of on the IS3 holding them back. AMX M445 is here, and a Maotian is now right up behind us. The, this 703 is getting slapped. He's going to make a retreat. Shoot one in straight into there. Tracked him. Unfortunately, no one was behind to follow up. I can see that their TDs, if you push through, can actually shoot you from this position. I'm trying to wedge myself up and get shot in. Now, this is from the about a year and three months ago, this game. So, it took a while to hunt it out. I could shoot right through there as I do have a uh, gold loaded, but he gives me his little plate, which is more reliable than going through his turret mantle. Yeah. You can shoot through his turret or his mantle, or go through with the gold rounds. I believe it's about 290. I think. Can't always remember because this is the Rain 50T. Oh. But currently it's just kind of waiting, we're just doing what best does with the E75 is side scrape, side scrape, and we stick a big meaty shot of 602 into it, 703, and I forget all about the E75, and I drive out, it hits me in the Emirate, I lose 500 HP, but that's okay, we have 1950 HP, and we put one into him, and bounce another one, so as long as you keep the tank at a good sort of like, this angle to your opponents, you'll be fine. You should be fine. So we're up to 2,693 damage already. And we angle it again. That could be the Maotian. Covers him and takes out Lorraine. We are into the next one and we put straight through his turret. 
it's very flat on 75 turrets, so you do only need about 260-ish to go through it comfortably. So we basically wipe out this entire corner and we're up 6-2. Now, they were too scared to push through against me. Also, once the Maotian turned up, they most certainly couldn't push, but, but push through against us. It just kind of shows that the E75 is just really the big brother to the Tiger 2. That's literally all it is. Now, there's a T29 just around this corner, and you, I'm not even going to be worried about him. I would just W key this guy. Oh, we stick one into him. Yep. And he's using the little gun. I raise my turret. Raise my gun into the air, and I just drive at him. And we just angle when he predicts when we, he's going to shoot. And 53 TP. Now, it actually has a decent alpha, gun, alpha damage gun. So it's not something we want to fire at. But, as you can see, there actually are still a fair few tanks hidden up around this corner. Now, we're about to take a shot from the right. But I thought I would be alright as I've been driving down here. And we get a little unlucky there, a little unlucky. I did have another replay that I was going to use. Um, and it was a good game. It was about, about 4.8k of damage. But I reckon it could have been upwards of about 7k. But I got a lot, a lot of misses. Where it would dip. The gun would dip just where I didn't want it to hit. So I'm pushing up here as I want to try and get some shots into these. And bang, straight into the fixture of the upper plate. Yeah, Char Future. We don't know how many he's got, so we don't want to be sitting in front of him. We do only have 143 HP left. We see this guy, and we're getting blocked, we're getting blocked. We stick one into his track to keep him out. 5,000 damage. Our first little bit of assistance, but people weren't really showing the tracks. But definitely carrying this game in damage wise. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get the post game stats, but I will try my best get to get them. Let's right, try and get one more shot into this Hellcat. But we aren't going to get it. There are still four tanks left and up to 4,500 damage. So we're going to advance. I'm hoping maybe one of them push back a little bit. Yep, he's behind the rock. And we find a Panther. Now I see the Leo here. I could have fired, but I decided to go for the more damage into the Panther and the 547, as this tank does have. Is it 560 average? 530. So it's 530 average damage. And we're going to see if we can get the Hellcat. And we couldn't get the Hellcat, but we finished on 5,567 damage and 3,645 blocked. So that just shows you the power of the E75. You can just sit in front of them, side scraping them. And as long as you don't keep your turrets like fire, same with the E100, fire at them, turn it back and keep the angle. And they will bounce all, even tier 10s all day. So let's see if I can get the post game stats. I'll put them in now. Okay, so this is the current E75 game. I did manage to get it up. We ended with 5,567 damage, 3,645 block, and just 832 assistance on pretty much most of the char. We got a first class, the Bruzia, the Fire for Effect, Spartan, Confederate, which has hit at least six enemies, Steel Wall, and the High Caliber. So this is the Team score, we did the top damage, 5.5. The Maelstrom did end up getting 3.9. I'll give that to him. And we got 1.3k base experience. We did fire a lot of gold into those people, so we did lose credits, 5.5k, even with the premium. And we were running food as well, so it would have cost extra 20,000, but I did have food saved up. So, now let's get on to the top tier, tier 10, E100. Big boy E100 or tier 10. Now I've only just started bought it and playing it, so we're still trying to get the 60 4K for the 150mm gun. But personally, I do actually like the faster fire rate from 128 gun. 
which is still really good even on this tank it's still really good you just fire a little bit more gold because you can obviously get these tier 10s quite pretty much every single game because you are tier 10 so the equipment we have is improved hardening gun rammer and vents you can drop vents for turbo which i would highly suggest i probably will now i've seen it i don't know why i've got vents on it but probably turbo is probably a bit better it weighs 130 tons so ram definitely definitely ram You've got 200 frontal hull armor and 270 for the turret. Obviously, it's extremely flat. So when you do play, make sure you angle the armor and keep the turret facing that way as well. Do not keep the turret facing people because they will pen this side. You can side scrape, obviously, like a monster. Be careful because they can shoot up into the underneath here, which is extremely thin. And obviously don't over angle because if you over angle this bit they can pen this little triangle basically here which is very strong but nonetheless the tracks are massive and they do absorb heat like anything you can sort of see where you can shoot up into as, as, as from the back shoot up into this bit which i do a lot the other weak point which is very difficult to hit is this bar i don't believe these are this bar here is definitely a weak spot and you can pen that very comfortably for crews i have full repairs and then intuition because obviously you're swapping out shells a lot even with the 150 you're going to be putting in the 334 heat i believe it is 334 so i have full repairs and then the crew which obviously with the new crews pretty much everybody has crew skills these days and then the next two are for repairs um, if you find you don't want to use intuition, you don't have to. You can just have full repairs, then put intuition on. Um, but I have quite a few crew books, so you can just easily get the first one done, 100%, get the next one up, and then your tracks are repairing. Plus, with improved hardening, there's another two seconds. So you're down to 5.6 seconds for a track, which most of the time is faster than anybody else can fire at you again. Accuracy is a little bad. It's the... 0.27 compared to the E75, which is 0.35. You get seven degrees of gun depression. The traverse isn't the greatest, which is up to 424, but we don't actually have food running on this tank. So if I was to put that in, we are up to 444. So definitely run food with it. You'll be up to max view range in no time. Side armor, 150. Even the turret at the back, 150. And the hull armor is 120. So you can easily size scrape like a monster on this let's go and get into the game okay fisherman's bay in the e100 now i've played probably four or five games and they've either been turbo games or i've gone one direction and i met like six tanks so this is a very nice tank this map it's going to be some sky scraping there are two E100s and an FB215B doesn't seem like anyone else is coming anywhere else. If I can get a shot on one of these, there is a gap about here somewhere. Oh, and he's on fire. He's out. He's finished. Oh, that's so unlucky. I actually don't even think that that hit either. And we have to be careful that we don't actually get spotted. They are playing in some very bizarre positions. T100LT is behind. I'm actually going to push. And. Oh, you don't get spotted there? Nope. No spotted. Right, we're going to expect someone over here. Nobody. We're going to see if we can help this. Uh, Go 
That's unfortunate. So what he did there was overexposed his turret and lower play, which is what I'm not going to do. No. Fortunately, the spot there you can pen. Just what we didn't want. Enemy armor is hit. And again, as you can see, this tank bounces a lot, a lot of damage. Probably not worth peeking against a C100. Just keeping an eye on the map. Not sure what the Manticore is doing. I'll have some gold for the E100. Yeah. Just keeping an eye on that map for that FB. He comes back. I'm actually going to over-angle it and bait this shot into me. The loader bought the fire. Not sure where he quite got me there. Okay, he's not good enough to be doing that. Okay, yeah, so I guess he's got APCR. Okay, we see the Hoi 3. Now it is a very dangerous tank. But we can't show off the armor here. No. Snapshotted it a bit too fast. Uh, the FB is going to be at the back somewhere. Oh, I left my lower plate sticking out to the Hoi I think the FB's got to be over there somewhere. And he penned me. It was going to be a good game, and then we lost all oh, thousands, thousand seven hundred HP from two shells. Again, I don't know what's best to do. He's probably still reloading. Yeah, we bounce him this time. Probably what should have happened the first time. I'm gonna see if I can reverse up beyond there. No, we can't. And we bounced him. He might not have repairs. He does have repairs. Okay, so we're gonna wait, and now we're gonna start driving back in. Okay, but we know he has about 20 seconds of reload, so I'm gonna drive around to where he won't expect me. Uh, we are down quite badly here. I'm going to load HE. I 
he might be doing the same. No, I think we're gonna have to hold this bit. Hands away on. Okay, now we got to reverse because we don't actually know where the FB is. He's going to come back that way, I know. Nope, the hurry did. Can we get around? No, we can't. That hurry is fast. This is the post game stats for the E100. As you can see, we did 5,200 blocked, 4.2k damage, still a defeat. As you can see, this tank can definitely hold up itself, and that is after losing 1,700 damage from a pen of an FB and a hurry. So, if that doesn't show how strong this tank can be, then nothing will, even standing against some of the biggest guns in the game. The armor can still hold up a lot. But if you like the idea of this series, line by line, I will go through and do tech tree showcases of any of the ones that I have obviously open so far. Some of them I will have to get some extra money now that I've just bought all the other tanks. If you did like the video, give it a like down below and don't forget to subscribe. And if you don't have anything to say in the comments, just leave an emoji because engagement.